Welcome to Fontana, California, where there is just nothing. It's such a clean place to live. Very nice, clean living in Fontana, especially in this house here. What happened? It's like, wow. Why isn't that boarded up? Look at that. Holy crap. Had solar panels at some point. On every corner, there's one of these. Yep, they're out there. On the same intersection, if you can see this fellow over here. Just hanging out. When I was a kid, Fontana had this beautiful hospital over here. Kaiser Hospital. It was a small hospital at that time and over the years that grew and in came the homeless it's been probably over the last 20 years when it's gotten exponentially worse it's probably because there's a lot of people coming and going and when there's people coming and going they can panhandle and uh, give their little stories and things like that and get money from people so people are contributing to it so that's what's happening even on scooters. Anything that rolls, they'll take it. So keep your eyes open, guys. And lo and behold, what do we have here? We're selling oranges here. And what is that? Huh. Interesting. You guys think that's legal? It's not. Security alert. Security alert. I mean, you gotta have that out here. Otherwise, they're just gonna gather everywhere. I don't know what's going on with her. Well, she just might be a regular lady. Guess the security guy doesn't care about him selling oranges in this parking lot, but that's fine. But he's serious stopping for this guy. He doesn't like him being around. Can you imagine having his job constantly Getting people to leave and then they just come right back. And these guys are actually made for the bus, legit. What do you think he's doing? Well, I know a good job for you if you're interested. Security guy in Fontana. Where you can be guaranteed employment because there's constant influxuation of homeless people. Wonderful. What a great job to have. You too can move to Fontana where there's lots of traffic and really, really bad drivers. Sounds like a great place to live. He's waiting. Guess what? I'm not going in. Sorry. Lots of interesting folk around here. Ah, my favorite thing about Fontana. Traffic. Love it. Even the local burger joint couldn't make it. It's gone. <clears throat> right in the busiest part of town says tenant improvement do you really think nah probably not so they just kind of find places where they can hop the fence go down in there looks like to me there's a couple of them over there a couple of guys up to no good maybe that's a local sleeping spot over there who knows See how those guys had bicycles? You see those things at night, riding around with backpacks? That's when you know action's gonna happen. So keep your eyes peeled if you have anything outside if you're around here. Lovely. I figure now would be the good time to go take a look at some of the nice real estate opportunities here. How about apartment rentals? Aren't those fantastic? God, you gotta just love the look on those windows and the graffiti touch up all along there. That's just wonderful. I uh, don't bother painting it because we'll just keep touching up until it is all one color. And it's a whole street of them if you're interested. Move in ready. Just for you. So what is this? Abandoned school? Hmm. Didn't work out, I guess. Everybody flunked. Well, the street rod life is pretty nice around here, I suppose. Uh, is it an abandoned church? No, I think it's still open. 
but they had to fence the whole thing off to keep the homeless out on the off days. Flowers if you need some. So do you think it was on sale at Home Depot this color? I think it was one of those uh, five dollars a gallon. I, I, I would say fair assessment. Yard sale today. Another one. What happened? Is it in the shop? No, we don't mow. We don't believe in that. Definitely the good part of town. Oh, that's lovely. All right, gotta go there. Pizza and cake in the same place. I'm sorry, but this guy just looks a little scary. It's all right, just fill up the yard with him. Car breaks down, just put it in the backyard. It's fine. Did that used to be a Kmart? Probably. Hi, ah, you find yourself a date, need a good place to stay? There you are, motel. Lovely. Rental opportunities. I'm blue, da da dee da 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 dee da 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 With rentals in the backyard. Oh, I was trying to figure out what's going on here. Is this in a house or is it an apartment? Let's go look around the other side here. You guys are gonna trip out on this. So right around the corner here, it has this and then this really interesting building. I think it's all on the same property. Hmm, interesting. I think things aren't too bad till you see the front yards with all the cars. Then you kind of go, wow, how many people live in one of these houses? My guess is they are single family homes with multi families in them. Wouldn't you agree? So wouldn't you guys agree that uh, there's probably more than one family? I mean, this is during the day when people are at work. So it's kind of interesting to see. It's trending through the neighborhoods with just lots of cars in the driveway, a little bit of rubbish here and there. That's fine. And these guys disguise all their cars with weeds. That's nice. Yep, I saw three motorhomes in the backyard. You can't tell me they got a three motorhome house without some of those being rentals. You jump my fence and you're getting spiked, dude. Oh yeah, fine. Looking good. Looking good. Yep, Fontana. Lovely. Oh, hey, yard sale. Lots of clothes. And a rental in the front. Nobody's ever oh, graffitied yeah, that fence. Ah, another free pile paint job. Great. You know, those mismatched colors at Home Depot. Yep, that's where they go. Fontana. I went to seven different Home Depots to come up with that color. A local hangout spot. And just the guy I want to call to come work on my signs. Fontana, home of the chain link fences and peeling paint. Beautiful. Definitely moving in right next door to him. Well, I guess next door is this, so eh, whatever. Actually, the whole street's kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. Fontana. Lovely. Anyone surprised? Surprise. Uh-oh. Let's see what's going on up here. Fontana. Uh, probably something interesting here. Hmm. Homeless guy? There's one living over there. Interesting. Waiting for an Uber, I guess. Gotta wear a mask when you're outside. Just to be safe, you never know. The viruses just seem to fly all through the air like that. You never know if you're outside. You better have a mask on. Every day of my life, I just want to wake up and look at this. That was probably a really cool old gas station at one point. Okay, it's coming up. Good place to stay. There you go. Plenty of these around. No worries. Yeah, if you got some uh, 
concrete or whatever, just dump it here, it's fine. Well, this guy got tired of all the dumping going on, so he had to put up a fence. Isn't that great? That's not peeling, it's, it's just that way. And look, I found a good place to park. Because last time I parked it on the street, it got ran into, so gotta park it in the yard, safer there. One thing I gotta say is at least they had the common density to put it in the trash. More flowers if you want them. Am I wrong? Is it like Mother's Day or something? No, I don't think so. Now accepting EBT at Circle K. I just bring the old easy up and sell whatever you need to sell. It's fine. Hey, do you have a nice little Chinese restaurant? Superior. Gotta make sure you wear your mask, guys. Yep, something's for sale. Campers? Nope. Home sweet home. I think the picture says it all. These are definitely not rentals. Nope. 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 Lovely. Front door's open if you need to come in. No problem. Front door's open. Of the back house. I needed a place to put my tent trailer so the front yard seemed to be appropriate. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, the apartment life here has to be fantastic. Just li listen for the loud popping noises. Don't worry, just duck, it's fine. Yeah, oh, wow. Check that out. It's called the yard sale extravaganza. Deals, deals, deals on third hand to use clothes. Well, it's a lot of hit and miss, but mostly miss. Hit right here, miss, or hit right here. What size wheels are on that? 26 is probably. Definitely miss. Let's get a better look. Yep, the boards kind of are a dead give in. But I actually think somebody's living there. Across the street from this gym. Lovely. Gotta love that one. Uh, maybe waiting for an Uber? Nah, I don't think so. Oh my goodness. Front house, back house, and motorhome for rent. Wow. Lovely. What the heck is this? I just saw several other random homeless people just all over. I couldn't film them all. But uh, yeah, it's just like you just drive down the street, that regular residential, and you just see people just sitting there on the side of the road. No place to go, nothing to do. Right near the good old sand and sage. Beautiful little place. Or the Fontana Motor Lodge. Ooh. Yep, they're out there. And whatever that is, Wow. I think he's just cleaning the yard up there. Yep. Cool old theater. Last time I was here, this used to be a bank. Look at these guys up. Wow. That's nice. Thank you. I really wanted to see that today. They even took the ATM out and everything. There was an ATM there. This was a thriving bank when I was here. I'd say five years ago. Gone. Probably got robbed so many times that they just decided to close it up. Gotta go somewhere else to get your welfare check cashed. Yeah, cute old downtown. I remember, you know, really nice looking at one point. Back when Route 66 was around. And now it's just pretty much, uh, it's pretty rough. I would say what do you guys think make your comments i'd love to see what you guys have to say and if you like the video don't forget to make sure you like it and if you don't like it make sure you dislike it that's fine with me i'll take your input but i try to make these things fun 
uh, and so yeah there's a little you know humor in here and sarcasm but you know it actually is very sad when you look at these people uh, and that they've done this to themselves and put themselves in the positions that get them in this way it just happens over time I think they are social distancing what do you think I don't think you want to stand too close to one another. You know, you never know where you're going to get robbed or stabbed by somebody. So, yeah, I think I'd social distance too. While you're waiting for the bus or the train or whatever they're waiting for. I think that's both right here. Wow. Well, a drug deal going on. It's fine. So, anyway, what I try to do is create awareness through a fun way. Uh, to it's a little more interesting than your normal video uh, about... The homeless problems in California so you guys can really see what's going on and it's not you know it's fun to talk and show stuff and whatever we're not doing anything harmful to people we don't sit or walk up to people and shake them and tell them to move or anything like that you know we're just kind of bringing awareness to everyone about what's going on so this is the Fontana just goes on it can go on for miles Maybe we'll do Rialto. What do you guys think? Uh, like to see your comments or where you'd like to see me go next. Uh, this is a lovely part of town again. You know, you can just see that it's just continual as you go through. Um, just Fontana. There's another yard sale. It's like every other day probably the same house has a yard sale. I mean, how else are you going to pay your rent when it's as high as it is out here? It's very, very expensive even here. I wouldn't doubt rents are over $2,000 a month for most of these houses. Uh, for apartments, I would say probably $1,200 to $1,500. I mean, who can afford that? Even if you make $22 an hour, you cannot afford that kind of rent. So as we head back out of town, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, uh, it, it's uh, hopefully this makes you guys aware of what's going on in California and how the, the government really has just let people down in this state. Um, they are, they have the wrong, they're doing things the wrong way. They actually are creating the problem instead of uh, making it better. Another yard sale. How about that? A great place. Big corner. A lot of new stuff too. I bet you I come back here next Friday, same place, having another yard sale. So again, if there's other places you'd like to see in the IE, Inland Empire, California, did you like to even anywhere in, in Southern California, uh, did you like to see in video uh, my method of doing it, uh, I'd be happy to go and check them out for you and video them up. Most of these towns I've been to many, many times. In fact, this one I have. And uh, it's really changed. Even in the last five years, it's just gotten exponentially worse. There's a lot more homeless people. Uh, I didn't get a chance to film them all. Uh, I didn't really find where they, there's places where they just are just tons of them all in one place because they all kind of congregate. Um, and I didn't find those, that place, because I just wasn't looking hard enough, but I could find it eventually. But yeah, good old, hey, couch alert, couch alert, there it is. It's just, you, you, you can't even, I, I, it's just like all the way through, oh my God, interesting. It's just quite shocking as you drive through the town how bad it is. And this is a pretty busy street. Uh, one of the side streets called Juniper uh, in San Bernardino Avenue, where we're at right now. Oh, look at that apartment over there. I bet that place is just full of gunshots. So if you'd like to see my videos on, uh, what I'm going to have another video coming up called Homeless and Broke, and how to get into a better situation I'd have those kind of videos as well so I'm not just a bagging on homeless people okay this is not what this is all about this is making aware, aware people aware of what's happening um, and I do help a lot of homeless people as well um, get back on their feet uh, and there's a whole video on that currently on the channel and uh, yeah it's it's done a lot for a lot of people uh, and you know, we'll be doing more on that. In fact, I have some better ideas and newer information on that stuff that I'll be putting up. 
So look out for those videos if you, even if you aren't really in that situation, just be sure to watch them, like them, and I'll help those people that are in need. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.